Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So the NEET PG is done, results are out. What next? First of all, many congratulations to everyone who have done really well and have come up with very good ranks. And uh, you are about to start your career with your dream branch. So cheers to that. And for those who have not done well or have not done as per the expectations, uh, remember the game is not over yet. You have to believe in yourself that you can come back much better, much stronger. Uh, having said that, the common goal, which is the next target for everyone is the INICT in the May 2023. Now, one thing is very clear with this year's exam as well, that the previous year questions will always be the boss. The previous year question topics, that is the PYQ topics will always keep repeating in any exams, in any competitive exams. And for INICT as well, you have to focus on the previous year question topics. I will pin down in the comment section below the entire list of topics subject wise which have been arranged by various students. You can definitely download that and share it with your friends as well. Now for ones uh, who have done really well, this is the time to celebrate, it's time to go out and have fun. But you should also attempt INICT to give your best and why not try for AIMS or the Central Institutes. For ones who have not performed as per the expectations, I want you all to take at least three to four days uh, and analyze what went wrong. Write it down in a piece of paper, whatever went wrong, whether you solved less MCQs or you did not focus on the previous questions, whether you couldn't revise well, whatever was the issue, write it down in a piece of paper. Second thing, you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe that you can come back stronger definitely with a proper plan. Don't be harsh on yourself. Remember, you people have cleared a NEET UG exam, which is again a very competitive exam and you have come to MBBS. You have completed MBBS, which is again a struggle in itself. And now you're preparing for a NEET PG exam or a post-graduation exam. So never underestimate yourself and never underestimate your capabilities. That's why don't be so harsh on yourself. And after this small break, the focus should be on INICT, which is coming up in May 2023. And the mindset for INICT should not be uh, just that you have to get a seat, but it should be that you have to give your best and perform the, to the best of your capabilities. So these are certain points for students who have not performed as per the expectations. But having said that, I also want to cover the mid rankers here uh, because uh, this is a very important thing to discuss. The mid rankers here, I would say someone between 5000 rank to 30,000 rank. And this is a very important topic of concern because if you're confident enough that you're going to get your desired seat via state counseling or all India counseling, then it's good enough. But if you're in a doubt, then you have to think otherwise. For example, guys, uh, even I got 5000 rank and I was not happy at that moment because I was not sure whether I will get MD uh, or not because I wanted to pursue only medicine. So uh, with the 5000 rank, it's always a dicey situation and I was also not eligible for my state counseling. So from all India counseling, it always becomes difficult to predict whether you will get an MD medicine seat or not. But I was fortunate that I got to explore the option of DNB and uh, today I'm pursuing DNB general medicine and I'm really happy and uh, content. That's what I want for all the mid rankers that you should definitely explore the option of DNB so that you don't have to compromise on your uh, dream branch uh, even after getting a good rank. I have made a complete video uh, regarding DNB versus MD and MS and the pros and cons before uh, taking up DNB. I will put the link in the i button. You can watch them later. Coming back to the topic, so DNB option you can explore definitely, but should you wait for the counseling or should you start preparing? So guys, this is a dicey situation because you cannot wait till the counseling because this year counseling is expected to be in August somewhere and you cannot wait five months uh, to know whether you are going to get your dream branch or not. And then you decide upon uh, whether to give a drop or compromise in whatever branch you're getting. So I would suggest you have to start preparing because if you start preparing in August, then it will be very, very late and you won't get much time again to revise. So the best solution for all the mid rankers, that is 5,000 to 30,000. I would definitely say start preparing. I won't ask you to study eight to 10 hours from uh, today itself, but definitely the best thing is you have INI city in front of you. So you have a target. And you should focus on studying at least three to four hours a day, not much. Just focus on the PYQ topics. Now coming to the strategy for INICT, this is for everyone. So the checklist which you should keep in mind is the PYQ topics, PYQ topics and PYQ topics. That is always the number one priority. So the PYQ topics subject wise, you should focus. Make a list of 19 subjects year wise. Uh, I think four to five years will be enough and uh, start solving uh, the previous year questions, uh, it will hardly take two to three hours a day. Then number two, focus on solving around 50 to 100 MCQs daily. That would also cover the previous year questions. Number three, you should just study four to six hours a day. Uh, you should not uh, start studying directly eight to 10 hours because that is not practically possible also. Since you have already prepared for NEET PG uh, somewhere or the other, so you're almost there. Along with studies, you also take out some time for your leisure activity. Uh, take out some time to explore uh, regarding the counseling options if you feel you can get a seat. 
But if you're definitely sure you're not going to get a seat this year, so you have to keep NEET PG 2024 also in your mind. And for that, I will definitely come up with a video where how you should cover all these subjects. But that is a distant target. But the nearest target is the INI CT for which you have to focus. And also one thing is very important that you should not over plan. Keep it simple. Because once you start over planning and you're not able to execute, you feel guilty at the end of the day and you end up procrastinating more. So just keep it simple. Number five, follow any passive learning source, be it on YouTube or be it on any other platform because passive learning always helps when you're not able to concentrate. You can always sit down, relax and just listen to someone who is teaching. So with this, now you have a target in front of you that is INICT. I congratulate again uh, to everyone who have done really well and I wish all the best to everyone for the INICT preparation also for the counseling which will take place later. Lastly, uh, believe in your heart and soul that you are capable of big things in your life and the only thing that is standing in your way is yourself. So remove that ceiling and you have to believe that you can turn around the tables and remember failure is simply the opportunity to begin again this time more intelligently and next time definitely you can win with not doing different things but same thing differently. With that note, uh, wish you all the best. Take care. Cheers.